Today we are making healthy zucchini brownies. They are made with whole wheat flour, shredded zucchini, and no refined sugar. They are moist and fudgy. Let's do it! We start with preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to grate or shred zucchini. We are going to grate it on a large size holes of a box grater. You probably could use the medium size holes if you want to hide the veggies, but I don't think you need to. The zucchini is not really noticeable in the brownies. There is also no need to peel zucchini, the skin is edible and it disappears. You can also use yellow summer squash and garden zucchini, just if zucchini is giant, I recommend to remove the um, giant seeds because they could be bitter. Now we're going to measure two cups of zucchini and place them in a colander over a bowl and set aside while we get other ingredients ready. This will help to get rid of some of the moisture in zucchini. Now grab a bowl and crack an egg. And we will be using half a cup of melted coconut oil in this recipe. Just make sure um, it's not too hot. Here is my trick to help out maple syrup slide out of the cup. Easily sprayed with cooking spray before measuring. It just slides out. Then we add a little bit of vanilla extract and give everything a little whisk to help coconut oil combine with the egg. And that's why you don't want the oil to be too hot so it doesn't cook the egg. So I recommend to melt the oil first before you start shredding the zucchini. Time to add the cocoa powder. Cacao powder or cocoa powder works, depends what you have on hand. I just buy what I see. Cacao powder is healthier, less processed, so use what you have. Measure it, make sure to flatten the top and scoop the extra. You don't want two bitter brownies. Then we're adding um, baking soda and salt, no baking powder. That will make your brownies rise too much and make them like a cake and we don't want that. Now take your time and whisk all ingredients together. Make sure there are no lumps of cocoa powder because they will be bitter. Just take your time and you will have this nice, beautiful, glossy chocolate mixture you would want to eat right now, but don't. Time to add the flour. And the only flours I have tested and recommend to use are spelt flour or whole wheat flour. Scoop flour into the measuring cup with a spoon, level the top and then add to the bowl. And these are not gluten-free brownies, so baking is a science as well, so I recommend to stick to this recipe. I can tell you that other flours will not work. Now it's time to give zucchini a gentle squeeze. Don't wring out all liquid, just see it just like that, not that much. Don't wring out all liquid completely and add sweet zucchini to the batter and give it a good stir. It's going to be thick. So all you want to do now at this point is line a square 8 by 8 baking dish with parchment paper. Don't skip that because you will have a hard time removing the brownie. Then spray it with a cooking spray and transfer brownie batter right there. And flatten with the spatula because it is quite thick. And going back to flour options, I think white whole wheat flour will work and whole wheat pastry flour will, will work. I just don't have them in my stores where I live. Now, time to bake the brownies and you want them for 25 minutes, maybe even less if your oven runs hotter, they all vary. So you want to remove them while they're like the batter is a little bit jiggly and the toothpick somewhat comes out clean. Then you let them cool off for an hour um, in the baking pan and then transfer to a cooling rack to cool off more. And only then slice into 16 pieces using the bread knives. Rated knife is the best. And that's pretty much it. Your brownies are done. And here's my little secret and trick these healthy zucchini brownies become even more fudgy the next day so you will store them because it's 16 brownies and tomorrow they will taste even better i just cover them with a kitchen towel leave them on a countertop 
and they taste amazing. You can also place them in a fridge because probably if you're making this in summer, it's hot outside and in your kitchen. I have more tips how to store them um, in my recipe. Taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed this healthy looking brownies. Make it and let me know how it goes. Share it with your friends and family and see you next time. Bye.